Welcome back to Les Schwab Tire Center's Outdoor GPS, presented by Fisherman's Marine and Outdoor. Now, real quickly, before we go to Big Dave Manners, he's live for us via Zoom over along the North Coast. I've got Mark from the Columbia. Now, Mark's been sharing some great info from above Bonneville uh, here the last three or four weeks. But, Mark, real quickly, what's going on up there for you this morning? Uh, 60 boats, uh, probably about 15 net this morning. We lost one. Wind's kicking our butts. White caps everywhere. Oh. So... <laughs> It That's sound, the story. It sounds like it. It sounds like it's a little lumpy. So not very many fish getting caught still. Not really. I mean, there's a lot of guideboats out here, and the, the few that we talked that wanted to talk back were saying only a few on board so far. Interesting. Uh, west wind? The wind? Yes, and for, first thing this morning, the wind was blowing. Now, he's up, around, he's up around the Deschutes area. Everyone, that west wind up there can be brutal. Uh, and also not be helpful with the bite. Mark, thanks for the report. Uh, we'd love to hear back from you again, man. This, these reports are great, Mark. We appreciate it. We're hoping to be out tomorrow, so I'll hopefully call in tomorrow. We'll be waiting. Report. We'll be waiting. All right, sounds good. Mark, thanks again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let's go ahead and join Big Dave Manners. He's the owner-operator of Big Dave's Guide Service, also the Wilson River Lodge. And, Dave, I don't know if you heard that report we just got from above Bonneville, but it sounds like things, at least for you, might be a little bit more productive along the north coast. Well, we, um, we've, had a, we've had a decent morning today. We, um, we haven't seen any coho today, but we, uh, we've got three nice chinook today, a couple hatchery fish and one wild. And, a um, little bit of pressure out here, not too crazy. Um, but, yeah, there's there's a few around down here. Now, you mentioned a wild. This is a Saturday, so Saturdays are a day that you can actually retain a wild Chinook. Is that correct? Um, well, no, that's that's for the coho. So okay. the coho, you can have two a year, Wednesdays and Saturdays. Um, but for the Chinook, it's it's two a year, but it's it's a daily. Okay, um, gotcha. Two a year, one a day. Very good. How are you actually fishing it? Are you just staying pretty standard with the 360s and spinners, uh, uh, spinning fish? What are you doing? Yeah, um, this morning we had two fish on a stepper bait and one on a prototype uh, rig that uh, us and the guys addicted here have been putting together, and um, they caught one first thing this morning too. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're catching some, and, and uh, you know, spinners. Spinners have probably been... I'd say a little bit better. Um, the water's fairly warm right now. Um, but yeah, I've been getting them on both. Been getting them on both. Now, you just got back from Alaska. You're just, this is your first trip back in, in Oregon water. How's it been, though, while you were gone? How have the reports been from the North Coast overall? Yeah, you know, it sounded like there was some pretty decent fishing here oh, a, a week or better ago. Um, it was, a, I did get out yesterday when we put the boat in, and it was, it was fairly slow. Um, a little bit better this morning, but I yeah definitely heard of some good reports obviously the ocean had some really good days out there um, but yeah up and down the coast I've, I've heard some some fairly good reports but then also some lows you know we got that rain uh, a few days back and that that did maybe clear some out a little bit um, but yeah there's there's been there's been some decent fishing around now have you been spending any time out in the ocean or are you planning on spending any time out in the ocean yeah, definitely. You know, on the days we can get out there. Um, today I had a, a group that yeah was looking for the, the easier water. Um, but, yeah, they're both been productive. But as we get later in the year, you know, the ocean will start getting a little rougher, that's for sure. What's your plan going forward? I know that you like to spend your time in some shallower water than maybe what most might expect. Are you just going to be spending uh, your time trolling uh, going forward the next couple of weeks? Or are you going to start changing things up, you know, maybe bait fishing somewhere? Yeah, you know, um, it'll it'll that'll really just depend on the weather and the rain. Um, as as you know, we get more water in the rivers, then you know I might move up into the estuaries a little bit. But yeah, probably here for the next few weeks, I'll I'll be staying in the bottom end. Now, the, the greedy side of me wants to see that prototype bait the addicted guys are putting together, but I'm not. But how about the grade of fish that you're catching this morning? Are you getting good-sized salmon? The Columbia this year is just producing some toads. How's it been in some of those North Coast areas? Yeah, you know, I, I've definitely uh, talked to a few of my buddies. That, yeah, I've seen some nice-sized fish in a few days where they were just, like, it kind of sounded like they were all kind of big. Um, today, we've gotten... I don't know, a couple, one's probably 15, one's probably 16, 17, one's probably 21, 22. So one, one nice big one out of the, out of the bunch. Um, but yeah, you know, with the hatchery fish too, I do see, um, you know, the larger fish being the wild fish, uh, not as big on the hatcheries. 
Now, of course, we're seeing some photos. I believe these are from today uh, with Dave and his clients. So these are some definitely some nice Chinook. Obviously, they're coming right out of the salt water, everyone. So yeah, they're going to be dimes. Uh, but you mentioned no silvers yet. Have, is that going to pop off sometime soon? Yeah, I would say, you know, this next little shot of rain we get, and there are some around. Um, the area of fish right now just haven't seen a bunch, but um, they're around, and yes, I would I would say, you know, with this next little bit of rain we get, uh, we'll probably see more numbers of them. How many ducks are you seeing? Come on, I can't I can't not ask that uh, question. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're around, too. They're waiting for you. <laughs> uh, I love it. Every year I threaten I'm going to come down there and bug him so I can stay the night there at the Wilson River Lodge, and I just never do it. Uh, but one of these days i got to do it so I can spend some time down there for a cast and blast to see you and the family. Uh, okay, so it's the middle of September, the 14th. We're going through September. We're going to be getting into October. Everyone's going to want to be along the coast, no matter if it's Nahalem, the uh, uh, Tillamook area, or anywhere in between. How busy are you and your clients, or excuse me, your guides that you're working with? Yeah, we definitely have some space. Love to get get you out. So yeah, just give us a call um, or, or send us an email, and, and yeah, we, we've got some space. Love to get you out on the water. What's your What's your plan for the rest of the day, Dave? Um. Well gonna hit it for a little bit more and then i'm gonna actually go watch the boys they're both playing football games nice and astoria and warrington so i'm gonna go up there and watch a couple football games and then uh i'm gonna i got the boat board up so i'm gonna jump back out and hit it this evening for a little bit <laughs> very good the perfect day get some fish for your clients go watch the boys play some football and then go back and maybe do it again. That's what that's what there Dave you go. does. That's what, ship, buddy. Yeah, that's what Dave does on his time off. He goes fishing. <laughs> but now we got hunting season coming, so that's going to change a little bit. Dave, as always, though, thanks for spending a few minutes with us, just giving us an idea of what's going on over there real time. We appreciate it. You bet. Take care, Dave. Thanks again, as always. Bye -bye. That's Big Dave Manners. He's the owner of Big Dave's Guide Service. And if you've never fished with him, if you don't catch anything, you're going to have fun. But most likely, you're going to catch something and be entertained uh, as well. And when you do, take a picture of that prototype bait. I'd like to see it. I may have already seen it. Anyway, everyone, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes to wrap things up and give you your deal of the week from Fisherman's Marine. And if you're getting ready for your upcoming rifle season, pay attention. We'll be right back.